Welcome to the Extra Mile Podcast for Bar Exam Takers. There are no traffic jams along the Extra Mile when you're studying for your bar exam. And now, your host, Jackson Mummy, owner of the Celebration Bar Review. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 169 of the Extra Mile Podcast for Bar Exam Takers. This is your host, Jackson Mummy. Really glad you're with us today. Oh my gosh, there is so much going on. Uh, I have a lot to share with you. This is a big, big episode, so I hope you stick around. We've got a huge announcement at the end today, uh, so stick around for that for sure. Now, one of the reasons we've got so much to talk about today is that um, I have a spidey sense about uh, when bar results are going to come out. I don't know why, I just do. And my spidey sense told me that Monday night, um, October 23rd, so Tuesday morning on the 24th, would be the time when New York bar results would be released. And I wanted to hold off uh, recording this introduction to today's episode until those results had potentially come out. And voila, my spidey sense was right. Results came out just after midnight on Monday. Uh, And so we want to talk a little bit about those today. So we're definitely going to do that. Before we jump into that, and before we jump into an interview with a very special guest today, um, Millicent St. Clair, a absolutely amazing, wonderful uh, woman who is the one of the leading trainers in the world in this area of photo reading and whole mind learning, and man, you're going to love this interview. Um, a couple of other things I wanted to just do, uh, some housekeeping things, I guess, first. First of all, If you uh, would prefer to watch this episode of the podcast, you can do so by going to celebrationbarreview.com forward slash 169. That's 169. And you can watch the video. And uh, there'll be some special links today. uh, And all of those will be on that uh, video page as well. Now, if this is your first time with us on the podcast, we're really glad to have you here. We invite you to share this podcast information with your friends, colleagues, uh, others who might be interested in the bar. You can get the audio versions of our podcasts on Apple iTunes or on iHeartRadio. And you can also check out all of the previous episodes that we've done uh, by going to celebrationbarreview.com. Click on podcasts. Yeah, that would be a good place for it. Uh, and you will find the uh, all of the episodes, the archives, plus all the show notes. So uh, be sure to check that out. There is a treasure trove of information there, I assure you. So uh, glad to have you with us. And if it is your first time, we're really pleased to have you here. If you are a returning uh, uh, listener or watcher of the podcast, we so appreciate your support. Uh, We've continued to grow this podcast pretty dramatically uh, over the last uh, year or so, and we know that's because you've been telling your friends. So uh, thanks very much for that. All right. I also want to let everyone know that we have a special live presentation of our webinar, How to Make the Next Bar Exam Your Last Bar Exam. This is the powerful, proven way to pass, and it's totally free. Uh, We're going to be presenting this two times uh, on Thursday night, October uh, 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern. That would be 4 p.m. Pacific time. And again on Monday night, October 30th at 7 p.m., still 4 p.m. Pacific. (laughs) And uh, we're going to take a look at uh, what successful students do to pass the bar exam and show you step-by-step what you need to do. It's an incredibly useful, powerful piece of information. Uh, which uh, that's hard to say, folks. Uh, But in any event, it's really good stuff. And uh, you do need to register to reserve your seat. Now, you can do that one of a couple of ways. Go to celebrationbarreview.com at the top of our page. You will see a button to claim your free seat. Just click on that, choose the date that works best for you, and we'll see you on the webinar. If you happen to be watching today's video, just scroll down the page. We've got a link on the page where you can do exactly the same thing. And then we'll see you on... Thursday the 26th or Monday the 30th, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Really good stuff. I think you're really going to find it helpful, so make sure you check that out, Uh, but uh, get in early because space is limited. All right. Um, Let's see. Before I get into... Oh, yeah. Um, So, New York results came out. I don't have pass rates yet. I mean, it's early as I'm recording this and the results have just come out. But I can tell you, based on the small and unscientific sampling of our students, we we killed it. We did really, really well with our UBE students uh, in New York. Now, I, I've got some interviews, I hope, coming along uh, down the pike. I've made some requests to people. But let me tell you that one of the things I really love... We had a South African uh, attorney who had failed the bar exam uh, four times before he came to us. He passed. How do you like that? 
Uh, we had a Jamaican attorney uh, who passed. We had a Nigerian attorney who passed. Uh, we had um, a young man who came to us uh, after having failed the exam a couple of times with other folks, and his scores went up. I, I think it's by over 30 points, and he passed. I mean, he killed the exam. Um, and that's just a few of the stories that I've heard as I've opened up my email this morning and seen what's gone on. So we're doing really, really well. Uh, excited about that. The passing score in New York for the UBE was 266. If you scored a 266 or better, you can get into New York, New Jersey, D.C., a number of UBE states. So that's great news. Uh, there are probably going to be some people who will score between 260 and 266, which is unfortunate if you were sitting for the New York exam. But if you got 260 to 265, all is not lost. There are states you can wave into with that score on the UBE, and uh, we'll have more to say about that in, in upcoming episodes. Uh, but if you happen to be in that, uh, that uh, scale, uh, don't, don't give up, don't uh, quit. Uh, you're certainly within striking range. And of course, we know that there are those people that just didn't even hit the 260 number. Uh, and for you, we really want to encourage you to, to hang in there and keep going. And, and I would say you are the primary people who ought to be joining us on Thursday night or Monday night uh, so that we can start to look at what it takes to make the next bar exam your last bar exam. Now, candidly, there isn't much time until the February 2018 exam, although that might not feel like it to you, uh, but this is the time to begin. So don't, don't sit around licking wounds too long. I know it hurts, and I know it's really frustrating and really discouraging, uh, but this is the time to get back into it and get going with your studies. So to those of you who took the exam and passed, congratulations. Look forward to interviewing some of our students and having uh, them share their uh, stories with you because they're really extraordinary. Uh, to those of you that did not pass, uh, our condolences, but don't give up. Uh, this test is beatable, and I really am pleased by how these numbers are tracking early this morning. It makes me believe that uh, the changes in the UBE and the change to uh, the New York from the New York exam to the UBE is a net positive for sure. Now, coming up later this week, we expect results from the Georgia Bar Exam. That's always sort of a crapshoot. I'm guessing the end of this week. Uh, and then next week, we should have the Texas results kind of sneaking out before the end of the month, uh, the beginning of November. So I would say maybe this weekend uh, coming up, uh, potentially uh, on Monday or Tuesday of next week. So uh, be watching for that in Texas. And of course, California is still uh, lagging out there a couple of weeks later. The other big news in bar review world is that the California cut score, the passing score of 1440, is going to remain in place. Uh, the California Supreme Court uh, made that decision last week. It's a disappointing uh, decision uh, that they're not going to reduce the cut score. Uh, but as I've been saying here for several months, not unexpected. Uh, I fully intended, uh, fully expected that the uh, court and the bar uh, would stand together and keep the score where it is. Even though it is the second highest score in the country, it's a ridiculously high score in my view. Uh, but even with the pressure from the law schools and uh, the public, I think generally, um, the bar is a protective uh, trade organization and the court is certainly made up of members of that bar and uh, they decided that there was no reason to change the score. So if you took the exam in July 2017, you're in for a 1440. Uh, that's what you need to pass uh, or a 144 if you're thinking of it in other states uh, terms. Um, and if you are um, taking the exam in 2018, 1440 is going to be your score as well. So we'll have more to say about that as well as we go along, uh, but just wanted to keep everybody updated on that. All right. Well, I want to jump into our interview today with Millicent St. Clair, but let me just tell you a bit about her. Millicent is one of those amazing, extraordinary people, really, who just seems to be not only full of energy and one of the best classroom teachers I have ever met anywhere. And I've worked with some pretty strong teachers, uh, but she is someone with extraordinary talents. Now, I got the chance to meet Millicent uh, through a seminar that uh, I collaborated on with her uh, for Learning Strategies Corporation out of Minneapolis. This was a photo reading seminar, and it had uh, it brought together people from all around the world. We had people from Costa Rica there. We had people from um, uh, throughout the United States, from California, from Ohio, from Tennessee. Uh, we had all sorts of people with all backgrounds, all walks of life. And Millicent was the uh, instructor that they selected to do this special training. Uh, 
Now, she's been a trainer with uh, Learning Strategies for a number of years. She has taught around the world. She helped develop the photo reading program in Japan, which is being implemented actually in the school system there. It's uh, an extraordinary uh, program. She's a best-selling author. She's written several books uh, that are really remarkable and wonderful. She is a motivational speaker. She's a coach. She is a master trainer. Uh, she uh, has taught at colleges and universities, been around the world. I mean, just one of those people that your jaw drops. And she's uh, absolutely full of energy, full of enthusiasm and excitement. Now, I had this opportunity, opportunity as I said, a couple of weeks ago uh, to do some training with Millicent to collaborate and uh, uh, participate with her and uh, do some teaching on this uh, emerging field of whole mind, whole brain learning. And we were so excited at the results. So many wonderful things happened that we just said, look, we got to do more of this. And I've got to bring you to my audience for the bar review because, as many of you know, I incorporate photo reading and the paraliminals that Learning Strategies offers um, to our students. And it's been a big, big boost. I mean, some of those success stories I just shared with you came from students who used those particular tools and they turned passing or turn failing results into passing results. So photo reading is a game changer. Absolutely no doubt about it. Um, I would say more than 50% of our students now use photo reading and it's an extraordinary tool. But it's still a little mysterious to people and still a little, uh, you know, I think some people think, oh, it's woo-woo or something. It's not. It's, it's actually based on brain science. It works really well. It works the way the brain works. Uh, and it's uh, totally in line uh, with the, uh, the teaching and educational philosophies that I gained from Howard Gardner at Harvard and uh, Grant Wiggins and many other folks uh, during my time teaching in Celebration School and here in the bar exam. So I wanted to bring Millicent on the program and share her insights and thoughts with you. We're going to talk uh, during this interview. We, we discuss what photo reading is, how it works, um, why it works. I mean, I think for some people that's just uh, extraordinary. Um, how does uh, Millicent teach photo reading? I think you're going to be uh, fascinated by that. We're also going to talk about how it applies to the bar exam. We're going to share with you a specific case study that I think you're going to find fascinating. In fact, I've even got some video to uh, share with you about that. And we're going to talk about this idea of mind mapping, uh, which I think is a really big addition to the photo reading program. And then, once I'm done with the interview with Mil uh, Millicent, uh, stick around. I have a major big-time announcement to make, so uh, you're not going to want to miss that. All right, well, that's a lot for me. Uh, let's jump into this interview with one of the most dynamic teachers I've ever been around, Millicent St. Clair. Well, hey everybody, I, I am so excited today because I have the opportunity to share a really new great friend with you and with this audience, and it is just so wonderful to have Millicent St. Clair with us on the podcast today. Hi Millicent, how are you? How are you, Jackson? Oh, I'm great. We, You're an early morning person, so we're recording this early in the morning, and I have to say, I haven't seen this hour of the morning in a while, but you're like a 4 a.m. kind of early morning person, aren't you? Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, this is great. Well, we're here today to talk all things photo reading, and we've got some exciting news that we're going to be sharing uh, later uh, in this uh, podcast episode, and I don't want to let the cat out of the bag too early and too quickly. Um before we came on, I introduced you to our audience, and I told our audience that you were a best-selling author, a master trainer, a communications specialist, an expert. That's a lot, uh, particularly for somebody who's so so tiny. <laughs> How do you do that? No, I'm just te I'm just teasing. Uh, but I would like you to to sort of uh, tell yourself, tell your story a little bit to our audience. Tell them a little bit about yourself, and uh, then we'll get we'll jump into photo readings. How's that sound? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. So, I'm a lifelong learner. I, I was the kid who read all summer long, and books were my friends. I absolutely loved them. And so, I've developed a passion for love, and uh, before I found photo reading, many years ago, uh, I was teaching adult literacy and English as a second language, and I found it to be very challenging because it was such a slow method to help people. And... Um, I was just thinking one day and kind of having a shouting match with the universe saying there has to be a better way. And then the next day I received an advertisement in the mail, a little brochure that just talked about photo reading and the power of the unconscious mind and how to access that deeper part of ourselves, that genius part of ourselves. And I was absolutely just wrapped by the information that they were advertising a home study course. 
I order the home study course and then I wait with bated breath for it to come. When it arrived, within five minutes of listening to the explanations that Paul Sheedy gave, I knew that I would teach that course. I just looked up to the sky and said, Eureka, I found it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I, I dove into the material and I really worked to, to master that material. Then I decided to take a live seminar and it was then that I knew I said, I'm joining this team because this is incredible. In fact, why didn't someone teach me this when I was five or ten years old? Because it's, it's, it's natural, it's easy for for us and it's really a no-brainer you know everything is evolving in our society and our cultures everything our technology but it's funny Jackson that we're still using elementary uh, the skills we learned in elementary school to read and we're living in the information age so we've got to up level our skills and I like to say that photo reading is the college of reading <laughs> We're going to graduate everybody so that they can process information faster and better. As you already know, it's not about reading faster per se. It's about processing large amounts of information more efficiently, and it improves our memory and our comprehension. Yeah, and we're going to we're going to jump into photo reading in a little more detail because I know we've got some people in our audience that probably don't know much about it. Uh, but for those that are just sort of kind of coming into the orbit of all of this, let me just share that Millicent is a national master trainer for Learning Strategies Corporation. They're the folks out of uh, Minneapolis that created photo reading about 25, 30 years ago. You've been teaching for them for a number of years all around the, the world, right? Indeed, yes. And I, I train and certify other instructors as well. Yeah. And uh, let me tell you, it's a joy to share this program, but... We don't have enough people, and I really want to thank you for your commitment to bring this to the people in your community because I know they have volumes and volumes and volumes to read and get through. And these strategies, these learning strategies that we offer, they're cutting edge. And it's really, um, it's about more efficiency, but in the end, it's about more living. Yeah, and, and uh, I think this idea of being more efficient for our purposes for the bar exam really comes together with the broader context of how people learn, how they acquire information, and then ultimately how they use it. Now, you've done a lot of training in live seminars, live settings. Um, I had the opportunity to collaborate with you recently in one of those. We had folks from as far away as Costa Rica. Uh, we did have one guy who claimed he was recently from planet Earth. Uh, that was interesting. <laughs> but uh, we had people from California and Ohio. We had some retired military. We had some uh, trauma room uh you know, ER doctors, we had anesthesiologists. I mean, it, it was across the spectrum, really an incredible group. Um, and you get that all the time. So I'm a little jealous. It's a, it's a wonderful group of people that you get to work with. But when people come to you for a photo reading seminar, they often don't know very much about this thing called photo reading. And uh, I'd love it if you would tell our audience who might be saying, what photo, what, what are they talking about here? Let's just dive in a little bit to what photo reading actually is, sort of the nuts and bolts of it. Can you do that? Oh, indeed. Thank you. So I like to say, and, and you heard me say it, that the course is not really so much about reading as it's about you. It's about understanding how does my hardware and my software work, my brain and my mind. So uh, Learning Strategies calls it the photo reading whole mind system because they're talking about the physiology of the brain and that's the left and right hemispheres and all of its aspects and of which it's incredible as well as the mind which is a non-local part of who we are because you can't really touch the mind but we certainly possess one so how do we use the brain and the mind in harmony and then there's different parts of the mind the conscious mind as well as the unconscious mind so photo reading is about first of all understanding who we are and the power and the magnitude of who we are and the capabilities that we possess this great mind this awesome brain and how to bring them in harmony and uh, so that we can access more of our potential and more of our power. So we start by giving small explanations about these things and then helping them to understand how to use the brain to process information faster and better as with their reading, for example, because that's a very practical thing we all need. So um, we start with the simple steps. There's five simple steps. We want to make this easy for people. How to prepare and to get in the right state for learning because effective learning is state dependent. We both know Jackson that if we're hungry or distracted or irritated and just had an argument with our significant other, 
we're not in the right state for learning. So we have to learn how to prepare. That only takes just a minute to just clear out of the other noise and really focus your mind. So we prepare. Then we establish a purpose because the mind is like a GPS. If you give it a purpose and a destination, it then the coordinates, it'll take you straight there. But if you don't, then it's it goes on vacation every you know five seconds. So we've got to really focus the mind, give it a purpose and a direction. And, and an outcome, like Stephen Covey says, begin with the end in mind. So we give it a purpose. And when we do that, the mind is focused and is directed, and it will deliver on that. Then we teach them how to, uh, how to photo read, which is a very simple protocol. It's so elegant and so easy to learn. Children can do it. And, um, and people are surprised. In fact, uh, we often tease, uh, Paul and I often tease, you know, we, maybe you should make this thing harder because it's so simple. People... You just can't believe it. And I'm like, I know, we should we should do something to make it harder. So it's really simple. So we go through the photo reading step. Then there's another step called post view. And then there are the activation activities, of which there are several different types, all intended for different kinds of materials. So the way it's structured, and we've gone through lots of iterations to refine this over the years, is really very powerful. And we love sharing it with, uh, with others. Yeah, it Photo reading, <clears throat> in essence, allows someone to speed up their reading pace from a typical lawyer's reading pace of about 100 to 110 words a minute with about 50% comprehension, um, in our experience, to about 25,000 words a minute, and as we test for the bar, with about 70% uh, comprehension. Now, <clears throat> I'll just share with you, uh, this is brand new information, I mean, as we're recording, um, I have a spidey sense of when bar results are going to come out in different jurisdictions. And New York's uh, results came out at midnight last night, which is not that long ago since we're recording. <laughs> this morning thing is really bothering me. And uh, in any event, we had a student who was a photo reader who had taken the bar previous times, not with us, and failed. Got his results back. He passed, and his score went up by over 30 points. Now, 30 points on a 200-point scale is a huge, huge jump. Photo reading make a difference? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Photo reading changes the game for people. It's an absolute total shift, paradigm shift in how you study and how you learn. And as you said, it's whole mind. It's your genius brain. And when someone's learning the photo reading system, it's really just these simple steps that you just outlined. It's preparing and it's preview and it's then what I call photo flip or photo read, uh, post view and then activate. So <clears throat> we have taken your steps, your program that, that Paul has created, and we have focused it entirely on the bar exam. Now, you don't come to this without, uh, you've got a little bit of connection to the law as well. You wanna talk about that for just a moment? Well, uh, my bro my niece is, a, is an attorney <clears throat> down in Tampa, and then my brother, he's in his third life, right. and uh, he's just passed, uh, just finished law school, and so he's studying for the bar, and um, my niece called me up several months ago, and she says, you know, I have friends that are studying for the bar, and they are weeping and wailing and gnashing teeth to pass this thing. Yeah. She says, you really, really need to teach them photo reading, and Interestingly enough, when I when I first learned to photo read and decided to become an instructor, I my family were my guinea pigs. So they first took the course for me. When she was 15, she took it along with my other family members, and they loved it. So she's been flying it over the years, and she's super smart. And so she comes back to me and says, hey, these people need help. This is a specific group that needs help with a lot of material. And I said, well, I'd really love to uh, support them. My brother also needs help passing the bar because, you know, he's struggling with it and he's gnashing teeth. So um, when I had the opportunity to meet you and find out what you were doing, I said, oh, my God, what a match made in heaven. So I'm really delighted to be here because I think it's brilliant what you're doing. You're applying the, the methodology to a very specific thing to get the outcome that's desired. That's what people need. We say we're going to help you get your reading done. In the time you have available at the comprehension level you need and every what everybody wants is different and we know what bar students are wanting and this will help them get it yeah absolutely and you know we've got enough empirical evidence now over the last gosh I would say almost 10 years I've been teaching photo reading um, I started slowly because I wanted to make sure that this would work I did it myself and I was like yeah I think this is working really well and I started bringing it to students who I thought of as being the hard cases right the ones that just 
you know, they'd taken the exam 10 times and they were having trouble and, and all sorts of difficulty and they were passing. And then I like, okay, I, I'm pretty sure this works. And we, we expanded and kept expanding. And I would say today, probably more than 50% of our students in the Celebration Bar Review course use photo reading. Um, and uh, they do it as a home study. Now, you and I have been thinking and talking about, you know, that's great, but home study's got challenges, doesn't it? Indeed it does, yes. And even I studied uh, from the home study course initially, and, and I had never seen a model of photo reading. So listening to the explanations, which were just gorgeous by Paul Sheely on the, on the audio program, I loved it, I believed it, because I understood the power of my unconscious mind and how I could start to be, use that you know, to help me improve my, my abilities in every area. However, I had never seen a model of it. And so when I took the live study course, everything clicked in and it was like, oh my goodness. And see, that's, that's important for us to understand. We learn from our models. And I had never seen an example of that. So the ideal of doing it was amazing, but I needed a live and in living color example. And when I got that, my results also went through the roof. Yeah, and so we, we know that people, I mean, we clearly know in our business, people can learn through home study, and we know they can prepare for the bar and be successful, and, and we've had terrific results across the, the country and with people from all walks of life. But then we thought, you know what, what would happen if we could supercharge this, if we could create a two-day boot camp and literally take people preparing for the bar with our course through photo reading, not just the technique, although that's really important, but also the application for bar study. In other words, how do you use photo reading when you're writing an essay or taking the multi-state bar exam? Well, you know, you get two talkers together and, and dreamers and, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to make an announcement today that we're both very excited about um, to provide that very opportunity for a select number of people. And one of the reasons I'm so excited about this is that you, Millicent, are just one of those fabulous, amazing teachers. And I'm a real teaching snob. I mean, I'll just admit it. I, you know, I'm a good teacher. I, I claim that as my superpower in life. Uh, and the people around me, you know, kind of shake their heads and go, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, but uh, because I view that that way, I'm pretty tough on other teachers. I don't know. Maybe you're that same way, too. It's like, oh, I don't want to but you are really one of those special teachers. You got, you know, you got some swagger, you know, when you're up there teaching, and uh, it's pretty awesome. What's it like for you to teach photo reading in a live session? What, what do you? What's the the kick for you? Well, first of all, I used to love. I've always loved learning, but I didn't like school per se when I was younger. And I'd sit in class and I'd just say, if I if I were a teacher, I'd make it fun. I was always thinking that why can't learning be fun? And when I found photo reading, uh, and I started to understand what are the what are the principles it's built up on. One of the main premises is, or the principles is accelerated learning methods. And in accelerated learning, we use a variety of techniques. It's really about using the unconscious mind, the sub, and as well as the conscious, the multiple intelligences, understanding our learning styles, how to be active, how to be purposeful, how to be questioning as a learner, and to make it an enjoyable and pleasurable experience for ourselves. So when I embrace the accelerated learning methods, because Paul was a supreme model of that for me. He set me free. He says, yes, and you too can develop your genius, and you too can enjoy learning. So what I do is I bring joy into the learning experience. I make learning a pleasurable experience because it should be. Even if it's complex material like the legal material, I was really astonished to see my brother smiling so beautifully and broadly after he did his activation when we were together. And his results were just beautiful and he felt good. His shoulders were up and his smile was big and bright because he got it. It clicked for him. Yeah, let's, so, let's talk about that for a minute because <clears throat> for our audience, they're going to be saying, okay, well, this all sounds good, but, but what does it mean, really? How do I use it? Well, we used uh, Millicent's brother, Nelson, uh, who's in our course, as a little bit of a guinea pig. He was, he was willing to do it. Um, <clears throat> but we basically brought him in and gave him about 30 minutes. And we gave him a very difficult multi-state torts outline from our course uh, to photo read and then to design a activation tool using something called a mind map, which is simply a visual representation of what you've just read, and then to explain it to us. 
Now, he had a whopping total of 30 minutes to do this. This was new material to him. He had not read this particular outline before. Um, <clears throat> he used the techniques of photo reading that Millicent teaches and that Paul Sheely teaches of learning strategies. And then he created on his own a mind map of the intentional torts. And for those of you who are in your studies, you know the intentional torts, or maybe you've heard of them, but it's a pretty big subsection of the overall topic. And then Nelson got up in front of the class and he explained uh, the intentional torts using his mind map. And we're, we videoed that. We're going to re uh, release that video with his permission uh, because it's pretty remarkable, frankly. And at the end, uh, we, I asked Nelson, I said, what, what do you think? You know, and he said, I can't believe this. He said, I, I closed my eyes and I could see every one of the torts and the elements uh, and how they fit together. I said, and how long did that take you? And he looked at his watch and he said, oh my God, 30 minutes. Now understand, this didn't take him three hours or eight hours or 10 hours or 16 hours. And some of you who are studying for the bar would say, oh, you can't learn intentional torts in anything less than 25 or 50 hours. Uh, 30 minutes, folks. You can read an entire multi-state outline in 30 minutes and begin to activate that material. Has that got your attention yet? And when you know the material, I mean, really know it. I mean, he was able to talk about it cold in front of an audience. Now, I, I would challenge most of you who are studying for the bar, if I told you to take a new subject this morning, study it for 30 minutes, and then get up and present that subject to a group of people in half an hour, uh, show of hands how many of you could do that? And the answer is almost no one. Almost no one could do that. That's the power of photo reading. It's the ability to take this extraordinarily large body of material and break it down into smaller pieces. And you walk people through that process all the time, right? I mean, that's, that's what you're doing is helping them break it down and use it. Yes, indeed. And it's simpler than you think. And so people need to just believe in the power of their mind. And he decided to take the plunge and do it. And let me tell you, he got the results. And you know what was interesting when they see the video? And I, I, I've looked at the video several times since. What tickled me is he kept saying, uh, and it just came from, uh, I don't know where. Uh, I, I don't know where it came from. And then he said, in the end, he said, it came from my mind. And I'm like, yes, your brilliant mind. Yeah. So it, it's in you. When you photo read, you expose your brain to the entire text. It's like a download, just like in the Matrix, you know, when Neo downloaded the information. So it's in there. But how do you bring that information into conscious awareness so that you can use it for your purposes? So what we do is we teach manual activation techniques. Those are specific strategies that cue up the brain, that prime the pump so that the information can start to flow forth when you need it. And it's miraculous that if you have faith in your abilities, first that starts with understanding the abilities and how it's how the system works as well. Then it starts to work for you in your favor and it flows naturally and organically. This is how our minds are designed to be used. So I love Paul Sheely and learning strategies for all of the development programs that they've designed. But photo reading, it is a foundational course that changes lives. It has changed my life. We saw changes, uh, you saw life-changing results with the entire course. And Nelson came to a public seminar where people from all walks of life, as you said, Jackson, were there. But your course is going to be people that are all committed to one thing. Now that's going to be the brilliance and the beauty of this one thing we're talking about one conversation and you know what else i loved about nelson's demonstration was he stood and he articulated very simply very elegantly in layman's terms in other words he broke it down so that all of the people in the class could completely understand and had a grasp of exactly what he was talking about so it wasn't high level legalese or anything it was just like ah oh, here it is in the simplest terms and we all just sat there with mouths on the floor <laughs> yeah absolutely and i think that that's the experience that people are going to have as they get into photo reading and start to work with all of these tools now the way that we've structured photo reading at celebration bar review is that we have the opportunity to offer it through learning strategies to our students uh, who do the home study it takes about seven or eight hours worth of uh, home study over uh, typically a week's period and then they start to incorporate it into their work and then we supplement that with the teaching that I do uh, which is really interesting I guess in a sense I sort of am self-taught in photo reading uh, but it turns out I was right <laughs> and and I had most of it uh, pretty well down and it was working and then 
uh, we got this extra little boost. And I want to talk about this boost for just a minute because I think it's really, really significant. Um, for many years, what I've taught my students is that I will activate what they photo read through the lectures and the question practice, which is true because we build our course on uh, Neuro Linguistic Programming Principles, NLP. So our course was sort of being built on one platform and on the same platform there was photo reading and the two courses were being developed and then we integrated the, the two techniques. But then one of the things that you use, Millicent, very successfully is this idea of mind maps. Now, I've known mind maps and I've used mind maps, but I hadn't really been promoting mind maps as a teaching tool, a learning tool for the bar exam because I wasn't quite sure how I could get students to use that tool most effectively. Well, you and I have had the opportunity to work and talk on this, and uh, now we've got some, some opportunities to create mind maps with and for our students, don't we? Yes, indeed, and it's really beautiful. So for those who don't really understand what mind maps are, it's an organic, nonlinear way of taking notes. It's a brain-friendly way of taking notes because linear notes, uh, black and white, bore the brain to death, actually. But when you can, uh, you know, follow this, this nonlinear pattern, and it's organic, and each mind map is different, uh, and it's designed by the mind mapper or the person who's activating the material. So it's your own expression and representation and understanding of the content. So it's a different way of taking notes, but it actually anchors the information and helps to stimulate new connections in the brain and uh, supports, you know, long-term memory. So it's a very powerful activation technique that we use that really helps, and that's why Nelson was able to get it. He was able to photo read the material, go back through doing some super reading and dipping and or skittering, and then he created a mind maps on the points, and then he was able to stand and present on it all in 30 minutes. It really was impressive. Yeah, and so um, stay tuned. we got a lot to tell you about mind maps in the upcoming weeks. Uh, so we're very excited about that. And so all of this uh, information and material is coming together. You know, I, I think many of you who are uh, listeners of this podcast know that I, I really believe in this approach to whole brain learning. Uh, and I also believe that what you seek in the universe, what you affirm, what you uh, look forward to, what's on your vision board, what you're thinking about uh, is certainly the key. I've often said the key to passing the bar is whether or not you believe you can pass the bar. And um, so one of the things that I've put out in the universe for a long time now is I want to find somebody who can stand toe to toe with me in a classroom and teach material that I think can help my students because I don't think there's any better way uh, to, to go than that. And the universe presented me with Millicent St. Clair, uh, which pretty well rocks. So, you know, at a boy universe. And uh, so we are really excited about the collaboration that's coming that's going to present our students with, I think, the most powerful set of tools and skills and strategies in order to pass the bar exam, to make their next bar exam the last bar exam. Uh, and so I'm really excited, Millicent, to, to have you on board and with us. Uh, I know that this is going to be fabulous for our students. And uh, folks, you're in for a real treat. When you get to be in this woman's classroom, you are like, you know, really? She did all that? It's, um, it's unbelievable. Uh, I am a piker by comparison. And so uh, it's pretty exciting to me that we're going to be able to do this and offer it. And uh, I just I keep teasing it. We're going to tell you all about it. There's a lot coming. Uh, but all of it is designed to help you be successful starting right away. I mean, the upcoming bar exam, I had some people say, well, is it too late for you know February 2018? Oh, no, 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 no. This is the beauty of it. You can do this in a very short period of time, and uh, you can make it really work. So uh, you're going to hear more from Millicent. We're going to have her uh, back on the, the podcast. We're going to be doing more. We're going to be talking about more stuff. And uh, I just wanted to give you just this little taste today just this little sense of what the possibilities are. Because maybe some of you are sitting there saying, oh, I just, you know, my reading is taking me so long and I'm making that regular outlines and it's so boring and I'm so depressed and uh, disappointed and unhappy, right? It's, it's, you could kind of feel that in people, can't you? And uh, now I really think there's, there's not only hope, but there's real reason for optimism. Um, I know you're excited to be to be doing this work with us too, right? It's a little different group for you, these, these lawyers, you know. But you know, it's so awesome 
for me too to be combined with a subject matter expert to combine photo reading the methodology with a specific area of expertise like the law which is very big and complex I mean that is a joy it is a dream for me you are also the, the dream collaborator and co-teacher and I can't wait to support you with helping your students be even more effective with what you've been advocating for them with photo reading. Thank you so much for your love for learning and your commitment to excellence and um, by sharing photo reading. We, we are so happy to well, support you. Thank you very much. Um, guys, stick around. We got lots to tell you, lots to share with you. Uh, just keep your, keep your eyes on this podcast uh, and uh, we will be sending out lots of information. You will see and hear more of Millicent, I promise. Uh, thank you so much for being with me today and, and uh, sharing your gifts and your talents and your wisdom with our audience. And uh, we'll be back again next week. More details, more information, and a uh, lot, to, lot to talk about when it comes to photo reading and passing the bar. This is Jackson, and I am so excited to share with you this announcement. On December 2nd and 3rd, we are going to be offering live a two-day in-person photo reading boot camp right here in Celebration, Florida. Now let me tell you what this is all about. Over a two-day period, I'm going to be working with one of the leading trainers in the world in the techniques of photo reading. Her name is Millicent St. Clair. And we're going to create an opportunity for a very small number of people to come to Celebration, the town where we live that Disney built, uh, to the Bohemian Hotel, which is a beautiful hotel, for two days of intense, hands-on, immersive training in how to photo read and how to apply your photo reading skills so that you can pass the bar exam. Now, during this training, you're going to learn all of the techniques of photo reading from probably the best photo reading trainer, uh, other than the creator of photo reading, Paul Sheely, but the very best photo reading trainer that I've ever met and that I think exists in the world today. In addition, I'm going to be taking and working side by side with her to show you how to apply what you've learned in photo reading to your studies of the bar exam. You're going to come away with the opportunity to have read most of your multi-state outlines at least, or state outlines if that's your uh, subject that you're, you're studying. You're going to create activation techniques. We're going to show you and you will leave with actual study materials in hand uh, that will be, I think, incredibly valuable for you. In addition to all of that, I'm going to be talking about the specific use of photo reading when it comes to writing bar essays, writing and creating performance tests, and to taking the multi-state bar exam. Now, these techniques have worked incredibly well for many, many students over the years, and we've done them all uh, on the web or via home study. So you might say, why are we doing a live session? Well, there's nothing that really replaces the ability of teachers together in the room with students. And because I have the opportunity to work with Millicent, it's two teachers in the room uh, to help you with all the skills. Millicent will be working on the technical skills. I'll be applying them to the bar exam. And you're going to walk away from this boot camp uh, pretty tired. We're going to do a lot of work, but you're going to have an incredible jump start on your studies. Now, if you're taking the bar exam in February 2018, this uh, scheduled boot camp has been designed for you to be able to come in, do the work, and be ready for the February test. So absolutely, you should be there. If you're taking the bar exam later than February 2018, it's absolutely to your advantage to do this boot camp. I don't know that we'll do another or when we'll be able to do it. So make sure you get into this one so that you get your study started on the right foot. The cost for the boot camp is $500. That includes all the materials, uh, all of the training uh, for those two days. It does not include your travel, your hotel, or your meals, and it does not include a photo reading course. So if you've not yet purchased the photo reading course, you're going to need to do that, and we'll put a link here so that you can take care of that. I will also put a link uh, with this video to the page that gives you all the details about the hotel and uh, the dates and times and the opportunity to register. Now, because we're doing this as a small boot camp session, we are going to limit enrollment and therefore it's first come, first served. When you register, you'll need to pay the full fee. There are no refunds because we don't, don't have much space and we don't want anyone uh, to take a spot and then uh, give it up at the last minute. So. Uh, make sure that it's something you want to do. I highly, strongly encourage you to do it. Uh, and then fill out the registration. Uh, you can pay using a credit card, debit card, or PayPal account, as always. And uh, then you're all set to go. 
Um, if you need help with lodging, we'll be glad to, to tell you about some places at different price points around the Walt Disney World area. There's so many that it's literally uh, impossible to put them on a sheet of paper, but we'll give you all that information. Uh, the hotel that we're going to be staying at and working at is in downtown Celebration. Uh, during the month of December, Celebration uh, celebrates snow every night. So you'll have an ice skating rink, snowfall, uh, plenty of world-class restaurants uh, and places to eat and things to do. It is an amazing little town. Uh, you uh, probably know that I'm pretty proud of it by now, uh, but I hope that uh, you'll enjoy that part of it. We really look forward to having you at this boot camp. It can change everything that you do. I have seen the results that photo reading has brought to my students. I've seen students go from failing the bar exam multiple times to top scores in their states to 30 and 40 point increases, which on a 200 point scale is pretty remarkable, uh, and to passing results, most importantly. You can now have the opportunity to take advantage of that, plus the opportunity to work with me for two days and the world's, I think, really maybe the second greatest photo reading teacher in the world, which is pretty darn good when you think about it. Now, normally, uh, my time would be worth well over uh, $3,500 for that many hours of training, and Millicent's time when she does a photo reading course is over $750, and she has trained people from around the world. So $500 is an extraordinary value, and we've priced it that way because we really want you to get in and take advantage of it. If you have questions, let us know. Send an email to June at celebrationbarreview.com and she'll be glad to help you out with ordering and logistics. If you need anything else, just let us know. But I really encourage you, December 2nd and 3rd, it's a Saturday and Sunday. We're gonna start at uh, 9 a.m., go to 5 p.m. on Saturday, uh, start at 9 and go to 5 p.m. on Sunday. It's gonna be intense, gonna be awesome. Uh, it's gonna be amazing and you don't wanna miss it. So uh, look forward to seeing all of you uh, in Celebration, Florida, December 2nd and 3rd for our first photo reading boot camp. See you soon, bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the Extra Mile Podcast for bar exam takers at www.celebrationbarreview.com.